Podcast. Here's Brady Brewster. We're going to keep that breaking weather alert in place for the next few hours. We do have the, those strong winds across southern Colorado, some of the strongest right now in the springs, and we've got our hour by hour forecast here for you. What you'll notice is over the next few hours, they're going to calm down just a little bit, but they stay pretty strong through at least sunset. After that, they do start to calm down a little bit more. That's also going to include some spots off onto the eastern plains. We're fast forwarding through to overnight, early tomorrow morning, staying pretty calm, but then into the afternoon. Afternoon. Wind is going to be strong once again tomorrow. I don't think we'll be quite as strong as today, but we could see some of those gusts definitely over 30, maybe 40 miles per hour, and then we're going to factor in some snow. We'll talk about that here in just a few minutes. As far as our overnight lows tonight, remember the wind does die down a little bit for us. Most of us falling into the 20s, couple spots into the teens, couple spots into the eastern plains, into the 30s. We'll see 22 for Pueblo and the Springs, 27 Canyon City, Woodland Park at about 14 degrees. We're at 17 tonight in monuments some 20s also around Denver as far as tomorrow's highs go pretty similar today a few degrees cooler we're going to be right around 43 degrees for the springs Pueblo at 53 Canyon City at 50 and then Woodland Park at 34 degrees we could see a few flurries here and there but mostly tomorrow afternoon we do have a few chances for some snow starting tomorrow lasting us really all the way through Friday and we're dealing with some cooler temperatures as well so as far as what we're going to see mostly when Wednesday night into Thursday. We're looking to maybe see some mountain snow showers. We could also see a few of those popping down into our lower elevations. By Thursday, we see some more of that snow moving back through, but it mostly is going to target areas along Highway 50 and to our south. I think around the Pikes Peak region, if we see any of that accumulating snow, Friday right now looks to be our best chance at it, but models really are still coming together. We've got some of these that are a little bit all over the place at this point, so this could all change but right now it doesn't look to be too impactful as far as accumulating snow. So we'll just play right through this. This gets us to tomorrow evening. Remember a few of those showers making it down low as far as overnight into Thursday morning. That's when we start to see some of those snow showers out onto the eastern plains. Right now, maybe around Pueblo by late Thursday morning, we could see a little bit heavier snowfall at that point. We get a little bit of a break and then by Friday night, that's when we start to see maybe a little bit more of that snow targeting the Pikes Peak region up towards Monument and towards Denver. As a whole, like we said, it doesn't look like we get a ton of snow out of this. Some areas obviously seeing a little more than others, but the most of this snow is still going to be confined over into the mountains, so travel will be pretty difficult over the next few days. We do keep that wind around a little bit tomorrow, then it dies down a touch for us. Temperatures cooling off mostly into the 30s and 40s all the way through Saturday. Our weekend is looking a little bit better. Temperatures mostly 